she's got yarn. How's everybody doing? Oh, I think tonight we're going to bag up some yarn. It's just hard. I have, I mean, a lot to bag up, but it's, I don't want to tear up the room right now until we get everything in place over here in the corner. Yeah, so I got a few things I'll, I'm going to bag up, but um, maybe we, you know what I can do? Well, let's wind, some, wind up some yarn. Yeah, I can sit and sit back and wind up some yarn. I got plenty of that to do, and we could just chit chat. Um, but before I get started there, I started working on um, the ladybug sweater. It looks like a Christmas sweater, doesn't it? But I'm gonna put spots on it. I thought about putting like a stuffed, like like making it kind of stuffed and. Um, yeah, I decided that might be too hard for me. <laughs> so I'm going to give it big little black swirls. So this is your sneak peek. This time I'm doing, I'm not sure if it's the same stitch that Jennifer used on her, it was her utility bag, but it might be. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. It is. So... It's where you do three double crochets, chain three, then three double crochets, chain three, and then you go in the next row, you do it that way, but where you chain three, you do a double crochet in the row below three times in the three next three stitches, and it turns out like this. And that's what the top row looks like until you close it in. So yeah, but Jennifer over at Cinnamon Stitches, she did this on a utility bag. And I am using that stitch pattern. Yesterday I used the bag of day stitch pattern. So I don't know. I just thought something different. But wasn't that cute, that bumblebee? So yeah, she liked it. And she keeps on nudging this. She knows I'm making her something else. She's smart. She's a smart girl. Put these scissors up here. I have 500 pairs and I can only find maybe one. Well, the first thing I'm going to. Um, bag up is this bitty yarn. This was the um, the second order that I got. This is Mermaid, I think. And there's a few people that um, commented that they went over there and ordered this. It's a little pricey, but I got, I think I got a coupon for this. So it was the last order that I shipped to a friend. I didn't get a break. <laughs> they did not give me a break. So these are pretty new bags here. These are the 11 by 17, but they're, no, I don't know, they look good. Let me get a measure. I've probably already measured it, but yeah, 17 by, by 11 and a half. So it's a little bit bigger, wider, a half an inch. So, okay, I'm pleased, I'm pleased, I'm pleased. So, so three, three of these. This is Red Heart, it's 100% acrylic, and it's nice. It's not too tear, it's not rough. It's not the softest yarn, it's Red Heart, but it's softer than it, than it has been in the past. I have a yellow blanket in my closet that my mother-in-law made me. It's been in, I mean, she made it for Tyler when he was little. And um, that thing, oh my, I have, I've washed it in softener. You're not getting that baby soft. It's, it's like sandpaper. But she's got some blankets. I need to probably bring them out here because some of her blankets are patterns that I'm not familiar with. I'm not going to use this bag for this. Hang on one second. Okay. Gotta figure out where I sealed it at. Alright. Let's see how this one works. This one's a bigger one. And I have a tape measure. It's 
18 by 13 and a half, 13 and three quarters. So I ordered some, I think better sizes this last couple orders. Oh, the opening is way down here. Usually the opening's up here, but it's like right here. Interesting. That's the first, I think, bag, but it should still work. Uh, you notice, I noticed the original bags, they don't have any ventilation holes whatsoever. Yeah, so I'm gonna put them in a bag because there's some ventilation holes in this bag. Let's see if it'll work. Yeah. Okay, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I went in my uh, green room and I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not recording in here. The table's a, a terrible mess. Well, tonight we're gonna bag up some yarn. This is take two. <laughs> Just having some, I had to mess with my brackets. I had a couple of them. It's not the brackets that broke, it's what holds them on the tables. The one that came with this one was destroying my shelf. So I got another one and I put some rubber guards on it. But Tyler said that he was gonna go into Best Buy. He said they have better rackets in there that might last longer. I don't know. I find that everything is garbage they make nowadays. Sorry, don't mean to sound like a pessimist, but it's true. It is so true. Um, I have a lot of baskets that I have people helping me and things are thrown in baskets and they're not the same. So I've got to go through some stuff and it's really bothering me like this. You know, this is in the other room. Nothing matches in this. Now, I have this yarn down here. Yep, I can stick that there. I have a whole shelf here, but like, I probably did it, you know, but it just, there's nothing in here and there's the red that I was looking for. Unbelievable. But this is like scrap yarn, actually, a lot of this. You know? Big twist gentle. All right. Some of this yarn, like this, this is really scratchy. That's going in my yarn room. This orange is going over there on the big twist wall. This yellow, I could have used it yesterday, but I found another yellow. <laughs> and then navy blue. And yeah, all this yarn needs to go into, um, my yarn room. I have a bunch of this and I can't find the rest of it <laughs> so I can put them all together. And this is another ice yarn, the green. This is shiny yarn. Um, I think this is Hobby Lobby's. It's like Karen. It's like the Karen yarn, the shiny Karen yarn. Yeah. I don't know why I pulled that out. I pull too much out, I'm going to make a mess, and I don't want to make a mess tonight because I really worked hard at trying to keep this somewhat decent looking until we get everything in place. So, yeah. And like a lot of the uh, velvet yarn, I don't want to bag it up because I'm using it. I'm going through it. So, but I, um, I did show you Susie's. Bumble um, ladybug costume. I'm gonna put little black dots on it. I was gonna make like a pillow with dots, but it was too complicated. So I'm just gonna make a sweater. And she's been nosing this and pawing me. She loves to wear sweaters. It's so cute. Now, and this is floating around. You could, that tells you my yarn's all over the place when I have a hank out of nowhere. <laughs> 
also. I'm going to go ahead and start taking up some of this yarn in this box here. I have all kinds of, now I plan on using this. I was trying to make a scrunchie, but it's just too big. This yarn is too big for a scrunchie. You don't know what I was thinking. So, but I tried, you know. I gotta use the, um, like the posh or the velvet. And I got a wall over there. It's just, it's three, four stacks, stack four baskets high, three across, four high of baskets, just with all kinds of stuff. And I, I don't want to break it out until we get all this done. I just, I want to, it stresses me out when stuff is like everywhere. It's already bad enough, you know what I mean? So, until we get that all straightened out. And this is tied really tight. So, I'm going to use my handy dandy scissors. I think this is one of the first hair ties I attempted. over here but so well I appreciate everybody's input on the members membership I'm still kind of up in the air about it so we'll see I had fun yesterday oh well, this weekend with Jeff I already miss her but she has, she's married now. And her hubby wants her home. Well, she's got to work this week, you know. So. But she keeps a little gum. I guess she keeps him crated for part of the day. My mom watches the dog part of the day. But. He destroyed his bed. He chewed his bed up. I think that's funny. Yeah, Susie. You know, I got her a new uh, lamb chop. I get her a lamb chop stuffy all the time. I think I shared that with you guys yesterday. I might not have. I had to chop the video up because it was just too long. Music. Yeah, all of a sudden, um, Royal King had music. They didn't have music through most of it, but then all of a sudden they had music. I'm like, really? So, if I'm voicing over or playing music over something, it's because it's music and it's too loud. Of course, this would have to be all tangled, right? I am not going to sit here and untangle it. I'll move on to the next scheme. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my video time on untangling yarn. Uh-oh. Technical difficulties. Imagine that. There we go. Uh, there. Isn't it crazy how this yarn, I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to worm. They call it where it, it twists. This is big twist. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's, no, this isn't Big Twist. This is Timu. It's Timu, like a rainbow, pastel rainbow. doesn't have a color. It's 100% acrylic, but this is how it comes. And it's not real heavy. Unbelievable. This is frustrating, y'all. <laughs> I don't want to waste all your time just sitting here watching me untangle yarn. 
that's not fun. Untangling yarn is not fun to me. All right, we're done. We're done here. I can't even get it off the machine. I guess I'm gonna have to cut it. It doesn't want to. I can't get it to break through there. So this I can unroll. Okay. Another day. Hmm. We got some teal yarn here. I don't know if we have enough to even worry about. Yeah, we do. We got a whole cake here. Okay. Yeah. Whatever I cut off, I'll just use for stuffing. We'll see. Last night I was videoing and I fell asleep while I was videoing. Sitting here. That's how tired I was. I um I am getting rest, but I'm like I could still sleep a lot. Okay, this is working. This is teal. I believe it's big twist. Um and is this the outside? Oh man. I don't want the outside, I want the inside. Now this is something I had rolled up, and look at what it's doing to me. It's giving me a hard time. Yep. Yeah. That's going to be stuffing. I just cut it and I can't find it. The end! Yay! I hope you guys can see me. I'm a little far back and kind of high up. This bracket's not really behaving. It's not... I want to bring it down and closer, and it doesn't want to do that. It's wobbly. What do you want, Zeus? Zeusy? Hey, Archie. He's really struggling to walk. It's getting worse every day. Come on, baby. You want to go side? He may not like the sound of this. That could be it. Because he's coming. He gets the shakes. Like something's bothering him. But I, some, I really struggle to figure out what it is. Tiffany, when she came over here, she said, Mom, he does not look good. I said, I know. It's getting old. Some dogs age faster than others. Z 
this aged really well. I mean, just this past year, I've started to see, you know, him. He's starting to, you know, act like an older dog, but he's always been really active. He still barks. He's still sassy. But yeah, this yarn here is a big twist. I have a bunch of similar colors like this. I have bagged up to put in boxes. What did I do with all the clips? to come over this weekend. I did not see him and I thought, you know what? He must need that time. So. Okay, we've got that cake. That, that's like a whole, almost a whole steam. Hmm. This was part of that the sweater. Um, all in one granny sweater. Did I tell you guys I saw some all-in-one grainy colors in Walmart? But I have all the colors they have in Walmart. And I should have checked out the price. I didn't. I should have. You want to go outside? Huh? Okay. He wants to go outside. Come on. You go outside. I had to bribe them to go outside. Pretty much. Okay, so, do, 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 do. Why is everything tangled? I don't have the patience for tangles tonight. Okay. I love the color of this orange. It's like a neon orange almost. Or a neon pink, orangey pink. It's really not orange. All right, let's do the slip knot there so it doesn't slide. There we go. Oh, come on, you kidding me? This is how you get thrown away. You mess with me too long. I wouldn't throw it away. I'm just kidding. But it's frustrating. Maverick's already barking at the door. I can't finish a thought. Next he'll be he'll be slurping water after this. How much you want to bet? It's a ritual. I don't mind them doing what they do, but they don't let me get what I need to get done. Done. Okay. Come on. Come on. Rug up, I keep keeps holding up the show. There we go. Throw my shoe over there. Where's the second sh half of it? <laughs> All right, here we go. I got the box over here in the corner. Easies. I got the box right here. supposed to be doing I just thought about it I'm supposed to be doing what 20 and then I totally forgot about that y'all oh 
Okay. We're back. Okay. Maybe I'll get my act together now. Do you see? Why are you pacing? You can't figure out where he wants to be. This is Burnett. Burnett Super Value. I wish we could get this yarn. I think I would probably use it quite a bit of it. I really do. I have, I don't have a ton of it, but I have a lot of it. But I believe the most I have yarn is premier. Premier. Yeah, for sure, premier. Yeah. Because so I got a whole shelf of premier. I got a closet full of premier. And that whole shelf there, a lot of it's premier. Some of it's basic. Uh, uh, basic. Barnett. Burnett. But. And Hershner's. But I got premier retro. The velvet. Premier. Parfait. I got the little parfait, the big parfait. Yeah. Then I have one shelf here. Most of it's big twist, but the very top is Alara. I got all the colors in Alara. It's nylon and cotton, I believe, or 50-50. I know it's half cotton. It's either acrylic or nylon. And the very bottom shelf is all white yarn of different types, white and black. And then behind me, right here, I have a lot of um, yarn that I've held two together on um, some of those baby blankets, the baby, the squares that I made. I showed you guys. I I actually finished a blanket, I believe. I believe I did. I don't know. I'm in the blanket fog. Rain fog when it comes to blankets. I've done so many different ones. There's some that I want to finish that I haven't. That are going to be gorgeous. It's just, you got to, I keep having to frog it because you got to count. That's a pattern. But you can't see it. It's as bad as receipts fading. Don't you love it when receipts fade? I mean, I haven't run into any issues, but I'm glad I discovered it when I did. You know? With the other company, I went up in the, um, we have a loft up there where we keep, you know, we purge. Well, we purge one year and make a new file for the current year. And then the third year, we purge it upstairs. Well, I went up there. Some of those receipts, you couldn't read them. So, so now we just scan them. Or she's over here laying next to me. I love it when you lay next to me, baby. He's kind of going through the same thing. Um. Jennifer's dog, Oreo, is going through. He's got, he's just ate up with fatty tumors, and I think there's a few malignant tumors. And I don't like the texture of his fur. It tells me he's not feeling good. And yes, we have a vet appointment coming up. I just have to get through my appointments. Um, I think they'll be slowing down here now. I think I got all my dental work done, and I'm good, I'm good for a year, I think. 
Yeah, I got the last of my dental work done Friday. Just had a bunch of cavities, and he would only do like two. <laughs> but this last visit, he did. I'm, I'm having issues where I'm getting pockets where, like, in between my teeth, pockets, and I guess I have cavities in the like in between my teeth and the gum line. I've never had cavities like this, but I've been told it could be my medicines. So, it's always something. What you doing, Zs? Huh? You looking for crumbs from this morning? My husband loves to go to this place called Eliana's. It's like Starbucks coffee. It's bougie coffee. But these girls, they, um, they cater to my husband. But they... They have like a breakfast bowl, and it's actually really good. So, what I don't eat, Zeus eats. Or whoever's. Zeus looks for it. <laughs> yeah, he's discovered it, and he is like, oof, mommy. I want that, mommy. I got a lot of orange in this basket, and I almost don't want to cake it up. I want to cake it up separately, because I really like this orange. It's Florida Orange. It's University. Or City Orange. Not University. And, oh, you guys. I had to throw away st three big skeins. This is nice yarn. I'm not using this yarn. I had to... I'm going to cake this up by itself. But, um, me and Tiff, we went to Gainesville. Well, there was a cup on my passenger side, and I opened the lid. It had coffee, and I'm like, gosh, I wonder how long that's been there. <laughs> so, anyways, when I got home, I grabbed the cup, and I had it, and I dropped something. When I bent over, it poured in my bag of yarn. So, oh, my God, it was rancid milk. And it, Tiffany's like, oh, I can smell that. What? And so I threw my bag in the washing machine. And then, like, I smelt it on one skein, so I, like, pulled through it. I could still smell it, so I had to throw that away. A whole thing from Hobby Lobby, the big skein. And then I had an orange one. I could still smell it. It was on the orange one. And then Tiff, I said, will you smell this white one? She goes, oh. So I had to throw three brand new Hobby Lobby, um, their, their big value yarn. I love that yarn. It's a nice yarn. So, yep. I was kind of bummed. And especially the colors. I like using those colors. They're Gator football colors. Oh, come on, ants. Boom, boom, boom. All right. See, I want to keep this orange too. But I do have some of this. Mad Mimi's using this in um, squares for a boggy blanket. I'm also using that in a um, with this sparkly yarn. I'm using it in a um, in crystals pattern. Devigation blanket. I should know that name, but can't think of it. Devigation. I think that's what it's called. In sparkle black and this. It's a Hirschner's. Um, I'll show you in a sec. That's I'm not didn't work. It's the uh, Sundance Suite by Hirschner's. But yeah really pretty her squares I wonder if she's color controlling because these colors aren't that long and it seems like her colors go quite the distance and one of her granny squares yeah 
and it's starting to warm up, I guess, in Alaska. Well, it was snowing today, she said. <laughs> That's probably a warm day. <laughs> a blizzard's a cold day in Alaska. Those colors are so pretty, aren't they pretty? So I'll have to change those up for a little while. Oh, how pretty. Come on. Let's see what else I got in there. I got gray, but I don't know. I'm going to use some white, big twist white. I think that'll work out. Poor effect. I got a bunch more scrap yarn. I just, it's buried right now. Don't have anything really funny to talk about today. <laughs> my silly girl's gone. And my cute little grand puppy. He's so cute. That was a lot of fun. I got some more right here. Okay, here we go. I guess I'll use some of this. This is Ice Yarns Burgundy. Isn't that beautiful? And it's nice and soft. It's, um... Saver. And Saver is really nice yarn. Why is nothing pulling out the top? It should be. Well, what I've done now, I did what Juan does, is I did a slip knot so that I can find it. Because for some reason, it's getting buried deep in the cakes. doesn't feel right. Yeah, you're right. I'm right. It's wrapped around the gears. Okay, got it. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> All right. What am I doing? Okay, that was my fault.
do the gray. I want to know what gray this is. I don't want to use this gray. I love, oh, I guess I can. That's a hoarder. I watched this documentary on people who hoard things or just collect too many things. And a lot of it's because of trauma from when they were a child. And I'm like, well, she described me to a T and it, it comes with ADHD. It comes with all kinds of stuff. But it was interesting. She described me. But it, the only thing that wasn't me is I don't have childhood trauma. Nothing I consider childhood trauma. So, I mean, my dad was mean, but he he never really abused us. Maybe he said mean things. But I said mean things, too. <laughs> I didn't just sit there and take it. I was a fighter. <laughs> so, I don't know. Believe it or not, I was. When I was younger, I was a, I was a fighter. And I wasn't a right fighter. I just... My brother was bullied when he was younger. And I, I truly believe it's because he was different. And nobody messed with my brothers. Mm -mm. I was telling Jaxie about it. My brother, my brother's gay, and um, back then, you know, so it wasn't accepted like it is today. And he was, they were mean to him. And this kid was really mean to my brother, and I got kicked off the bus. That's how bad it was. <laughs> But he never messed with my brother again. He's just a bully. Yeah. And it was so bad. What makes me feel bad is I think it was so bad. When he was old enough, he moved to California. He moved away from all of us. And it sucks. I mean, we're, we're still close. He moved away because of the stupid town I live in. Bunch of rednecks, dumb rednecks. But in high school, I don't know. In high school, he was he became a little more popular. He was the drum major. Yeah, he wore a red cape. <laughs> he looked like a pimp. <laughs> in marching band, he was a drum major. I need to share you guys, share those pictures. He was beautiful though, he was so handsome. My brothers are the blondes with the beautiful blue eyes and beautiful blonde hair. <laughs> People can be so mean. And I'm like, sometimes I want to say, does that make you feel better? Do you feel better? But then again, you know, I was mean to them. So, but yeah, it made me feel good when I was mean back. <laughs> uh, double standards, right? And my other little brother, he was the football jock for a long time. And he, he turned out, he's a great family man. He's an engineer. Wonderful family man. Now my brother, he has, he raises, he used to have four, um, they're big dogs. Are they St. Bernard's? They're not St. Bernard's. English Bulldogs. Big ones. He had four of them, but they don't live long. Him and his significant other had four of them. And now they raise Frenchies, little Frenchies. They're so stinking cute. And he's the one that shows Morgans. He still shows them. He's 10 years, he's 50. He's 10 years younger than me. Yeah, 10. No, he's, he's five years young. He's 55. 
Yeah, he's five years younger. Charlie, the youngest, is ten years younger. No. Yeah. Yeah. Look at I'm forgetting. But yeah, he lives in San Diego. In the ritzy part of town. Beautiful area. I need to go out there and visit him. Oh. Okay. Next. What do you think? <laughs> I'm going to take this burgundy off of it. It's not enough to do anything. We'll use it for stuffing. I'm sending this to someone. The cake master. <laughs> and then I have a whole box I gotta send to Lynn Como. I promised her I would, well, I sent her a box, but I still had more. I wanna send her. She makes uh, boggy blankets for Boggy Creek. She doesn't do it for me. She does it because she loves to crochet. She loves Boggy Creek kids. She's a, she's a Zoom sister. Okay. I love this thumb knot. It's just so much easier, you guys. I know some people are like, I'd rather do it the old-fashioned way. easier for me. I do not like to sew. I don't have to. Tonight I was watching um, Passionate. Um, Kelsey. Passionate with Kelsey is her channel. But she was on with another channel and it's a guy that makes amigurumis and, and now i can't think of his name but i had fun watching them tonight <sighs> tonight's been one of those weird days where my husband he goes he goes oh you're awake it's like i does in and out um last night i was doing a video <laughs> i woke up i was sleeping sitting up right here Sitting up. I don't do stuff like that. Narcolepsy. I'm just kidding. I don't think I have narcolepsy, but I, I just, I was tired and I, I wanted to get the video out. And there's some bloopers in it, but that's okay. You guys get me. This is sparkle lavender. It's really pretty. Wow. Not a lot of it. I got this, I believe, from Walmart. It's Mainstay. Oh, there you are. Hey, Archie. What you doing, Woo Woo? I love you. I love my woozy. I guess I'm going to use some of this. I don't know. I really like this yellow. I don't want to cake it up. Oh, I want to keep it here. Mmm. This is impeccable. I wonder if that gray's impeccable. I bet you it is. If it's impeccable, I can part with it because I have a ton of it. And this is some more of that parfait yarn. You know? Let me um, reset the video. My husband came in here early. He goes, are you loud enough? <laughs> no, is the TV loud enough? I said, is it loud? I didn't realize it was so loud. I'm, I'm not hard of hearing, but I'm tone deaf. There are certain tones, like, I was watching a video tonight, or a movie today, 
the music was so loud in the video that you couldn't hear the characters. That was so annoying. I don't know, maybe it's me, but that, I, that's what I'm experiencing. The music's too loud and I can't, and I can't hear the verbiage. Oh God, I got it tangled again. What is up with this? This is, yeah, impeccable. The new Loops and Thread Impeccable is nice. It's a lot nicer than the, the original. But I have so much of it, I haven't bought any of these stuff. Maybe if I, maybe I'll get rid of that and get some new stuff. I don't know, but it's a lot softer. It's really nice. another Eddie Bauer. Oh, it's the same one. Um, I'm going to use this green. I look at it and go, no, but you know what? I have a ton of it. Hey, Maverick. Do you want a ball band? Does it want a ball band? There's one right here. Come and get it. Come and get it. <laughs> it's got a ball band. They are getting cheesy, aren't they? So what do you guys have on your hook? I've got... The red, this, this is Leaps and Thread number four. This is the new bright red. Now there is a tomato red that, I, that I'm not using. And I think I need to use this up. Because I don't like the feel of that. I don't know. No, I'm going to put it in a mystery box. There's a lot of you guys that love Red Heart. And I'm so glad. I love it too, but I like the newer Red Heart better. <laughs> I'm all about texture. It's so satisfying when it's a certain texture. I've got some more scraps. Um, in the other room. But right now, I just, I broke this out. These are Miami, Miami colors, green and orange. One of my employees, he's a diehard Miami fan. I made him the prettiest hurricane blanket out of greeny squares. And I did the big greeny squares and green and white. Turned out so pretty. He said he loved it. And I, I oh, Sammy. My shop foreman, a gator one. I still haven't done it. But what I, what I want to do is I want to hold two together so that it, I can so that it goes by fast. Because that's what I did with with Bobby's blanket. Yep. And then Justin, who runs the front desk, I promised him a blanket too. Maybe that's what I'll do for Christmas for these guys. I know I do boggy blankets all the time, but I really need to, you know how it is. People ask you, will you make me one? And you know, I can't say no. Okay, I'm not sure. Oh, you know what yarn this is? That's Premier Bobbins. Bobbins. This is really splitty. And it's two held together. So, I don't know. You know what? 
It's all good. I'm going to put it in here because it's two together. It's really pretty. It's marled. The silver marled. Let's see. See how well it. I can do a thumb knot. Let's see if it works. Beautiful. Uh oh, y'all. Uh oh, this isn't good. We have too much on here. Yeah. Oh no, you are not doing this to me. Okay. All right. I think it's pretty. Lots of colors. Lots and lots of colors. Okay, here we go. I have a really pretty, I got a dumb song stuck in my head, Mr. Sandman. It's a commercial. All right. I think this is, does that look familiar to you guys? Not too sure what it is. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Did you want to say hi? I love you. Come here. Come. Come here. Come here. Uh oh. What's that? What is that? Lollipop. You making a mess over there? Shredding paper? I can back you that up. That's not a problem. Got a hold of my lip chapstick, you little turd. He got a hold of a bracelet, but he didn't chew it up. Oh gosh, I don't want to show this to anybody because it's probably something one y'all gave me, but it's not chewed up. Somehow he got a hold of that and that. What it is, is I got a bunch of baskets, but they're, most of them are on the shelves. But yeah, he's Mr. Nosey. This might be Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure. This yarn. Okay. I am gonna keep that. This one I have plenty of. Do, 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 do. You guys see my, I think this is like my, my holly jolly hat. I did a tutorial on it. One of my first crazy, if you're a seasoned crocheter you can figure out what I'm trying to tell you but it turned out so pretty. 
Isn't that pretty? It's the Olga um, pattern part of it. It's one of her stitches. And then that looks like a holly bush there. And that is one of my favorite stitches, the um, herringbone. I don't know how it got there. I know how it got there. I'm just unorganized right now. I have a bunch of cakes in one of these cubbies. I cake up. I try to cake up yarns when I'm done with the projects. Some of these are from a long, long time ago. You guys, I still have the yarn, leftover yarn from my very first blanket. Some really cool, they're African colors. I call them African colors. Just bright, brilliant colors. They're probably just your basic colors. I think I have lots of this. This is like a beige. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna break out some teal. We need some bright colors, some happier colors. And teal is a very pretty color. I don't have a lot of purple colors that I've used. I have recently gotten a lot of more purples. Just never, I don't know. I don't know why, I mean, I like the color. I just didn't have a lot in purple, I do now. See, I've already made a really big mess here. It's it doesn't look messy right here, but <laughs> it's 13 minutes in. I really wish I could bag some yarn. I just uh, I gotta make room in my room. Well, Tiffany was here. She moved stuff in my way. I went in there and I'm like, I can't do a video in here. She made a mess. So she just took everything off the bed and didn't ask me, you know, where would you like me to put this? <laughs> She's still my daughter. <laughs> uh, She's not perfect, but she's still my daughter. I love how somebody commented. What is it she said? Something. Oh, what was it she said? Something about somebody said she's your mother. She can do whatever she wants. Something to that effect. I can't remember. It was funny. I love it. We always have fun. It's. It wasn't always that way when she was a teenager. She, for some reason, did not like me. She didn't, it's almost like she didn't trust me when she was a teenager. And I used to always say, you can talk to me about anything. And she just, she wouldn't let me meet her boyfriends. 
I mean, she snuck a boy in the house and I busted him, but I'm like, I took him to the side. I'm like, why can't you knock on my door? Do I look, do I look like some mean, evil mother? I just, but, um, what really brought us close together and it's sad kind of was, I don't know if a lot of you don't know this, but Tiffany has a blood disorder. She can't have children. And she had a couple, there weren't major strokes, but they were mini strokes. And she's on blood thinner, but she can't, she can't have children. And, um, I was trying to talk her into adopting. But right now, she's on a mission to build this beautiful home. She has stepchildren, but they're they're you know they're at that rotten teenage age, and um, they're drinking. She's the evil stepmother, you know what I mean? And she's one of those parents that would do any. I think. I think the problem is she's too nice. Yeah, and they have a tendency to treat her like shit. Excuse my French, but. And their mother just bad mouths Tiffany. She doesn't even know Tiffany. She's the one who abandoned the kids, and left for California, and left the kids for five years, and Tiffany came in the picture and kind of took her role. And she wasn't too happy about it. And she wanted to come back and thought David would take her back. She had two more kids by another man. Yeah, and she was telling her kids that that David was going to take her back. Yeah, she was narcissistic there. But it is what it is. Hopefully, now David's got a vehicle so he can come and go as he pleases. You know, hopefully he will get a job and because they're not going to pay for his gas. They told him they gave him some money, you know, and they're paying for his auto insurance. David helped him get the truck. So I'm going to let y'all go and um, hopefully I'll have a, a more interesting video tomorrow night. Not sure what I'm gonna be. I'm sure I'll finish. I'll have that finished. I really need to start working on. It's the month of May, and I wanna um, see how much I can make in the month of May. So I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. Some more uh, projects that I plan on doing for market. I may never end up at market. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna try. And I may not. My best may not be good enough. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. I have the yarns. You guys know that. So, but anyways, so, y'all, I'm out of here. I love you all, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Mwah. Bye, y'all. Uh-oh.